the people of Hala have given him the place of honor on their market square. They see him as one of their own. To me, Handel seems to be looking down on the city as if asking, do you really understand what a genius I was? Are you even interested in great music? So I visit this shopping center named after him to seek an answer. Can you sing some Handel? No, not at all. I wouldn't want to frighten your viewers. <laughs> no, I've got a sore throat. Hallelujah. 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 I think Handel would have been pleased with that result. And this would have pleased him too. The city of Halle has a boarding school for students of music. Handel's father didn't want his son to be a musician. Young Handel had to practice in the attic. I meet up with one of the students here, Jonathan. He has a better time of it than Handel. The school has everything a young musician could dream of. If a clarinetist hasn't got a piano at home, for example, he would always have to practice here and stay longer. But this is a boarding school, so he can just change rooms and the piano is there, waiting for him. Handel's talent was discovered by the man considered at the time to be the city's best organist. These days, Ragna Schirmer looks after the young musicians here. She's an internationally renowned pianist. So does she think Halle will produce another musical genius like Handel? I hope that there will be a few young musicians in Germany that people will still be talking about in 300 years. During his lifetime, Handel was famous and popular, but the extent to which a reputation like that survives, the extent to which artistic talent reaches a global audience that endures through the centuries, that's something that's only decided over a period of time. We have a lot of pop stars right now, but I don't really think people will still be talking about them in 300 years. Walking through Halle, I pass the house where Handel was born. But I'm surprised to see the museum is closed. I discover that it's being renovated at a cost of two million euros. It will only reopen the day after the official Handel anniversary celebrations. It seems to me that could have been better organized. Halle's opera house is in the city center. The young Handel had to go elsewhere for performances. Do the people here know how lucky they are to have a facility like this? Have you been to the Opera House? Never. Not once in five and a half years in Halle. Can you tell me what operas are playing here? Um, what's playing here? Operas? How should I know? I've never been in there. Daphne? Daphne? No? Daphne and Chloe? Done. Um. The answer is Handel's Ariodante, a confusing tale of jealousy and scheming that runs for hours and hours. Tough material for youngsters. The music students are watching a rehearsal. Eventually, Jonathan views it as the audiences of Handel's time did, enjoying the spectacle and not worrying too much about the plot. What did you like about it? I enjoyed the mixture of dancing and singing. Of course, it was an opera, but they were dancing as well. I thought it was very nice. So Halle's Opera House can find young fans.
almost seems a bit happier now. And perhaps because his entire piano suites have been recorded together on CD for the first time. Performed by Ragna Schirmer. At the end of my visit to Halle, the piano shows me the city's best view. From here you can see the churches where Handel enjoyed his early successes as an organist. Halle was a very musical city back then, and yet at some point Handel left the city. Do musicians have a future here now? I don't really understand why Handel left Halle. I think that Halle is a very cultural city and always was. It's been my musical home for the last 13 years. And I find the city very lively, inspirational even. I can't imagine working anywhere nicer. I wouldn't leave. But Handel saw things differently. He saw better chances in London, which is where he died. 250 years ago.